Hi everyone. How are you? I thought I would make this video because I'm I've been thinking about so many things and I made the last the last video I made I said I wasn't going to talk about this anymore and the, what I was feeling was like, you know, despair and I felt really bad for James Charles. Cuz I just felt bad. I didn't, you know, it was just a lot of hate that was going towards him. And so it's just interesting to me because I feel like, you know, I feel like a basketball. I mean, I can honestly tell you that every time a video comes out, it sways me. So James Charles just released his video today. I had, my phone has to reset. It keeps telling me it's full and it had to reset again. But, um, so I was saying that, you know, Jeffrey, I mean, Jeffrey, well, that's another subject we got to talk about is Jeffrey Star. <sighs> another subject. Anyways, it's the same subject. Ow, oh, my knee. <laughs> um, ow. <sighs> James Charles, he said some really profound things in the video. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I mean, you know, in his video, you know, he said about how dark he got, where he was at. He couldn't believe he was admitting to it. And, um, you know, he, for 19 years old, he's, he's very well spoken and he just, um, you know, he just laid out his truth. And I checked uh, both Tati's and his social blade. And it's just, oh my God, he's gaining all those subscribers that he lost right now. And Tati's losing the subscribers that she gained. And so then after I watched James's video, I saw Keemstar's video. You know, they both said, they both opened my eyes to another possibility, which was that Jeffrey and Tati are in on this, like, like doing this has some kind of manipulative tactic to, you know, that they knew exactly what they were doing. And I mean, it's true. Halo Beauty is the vitamins sold off the roof, off the roof, the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. You get what I'm saying? I mean, Tati's subscribers went up. She even said so in her video. She said if it was about money or if it's about subscribers, I'd give it all back. I don't think that, that Tati knew that it was going to get this hateful against James. I really believe that I, do. I don't think she knew that. Do I think that Jeffrey Star and Tati Westbrook were in this together, like in cahoots, doing some sort of uh, manipulative thing against James Charles to for for fame. And I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's just so hard to believe, right? I mean, it's possible. It is possible. <coughs> Excuse me. Especially when James was showing his receipts. He did a good job. You know, you got to admit. He presented his case. I feel like we're, <laughs> I feel like we're in front of a um, judge. You know what I'm saying? He prevented, presented, he presented his case like he didn't need an attorney. You know, like he presented his case, I think, very, very well. And um, like I said, after he did that, he's like gaining subscribers and Tati is losing it. But now Jeffree Star, oh boy. Oh, man, that's just so disappointing to me. So disappointing is Jeffree Star. Get up here a little bit. Okay, because... Um, well, this is kind of fun. <laughs> uh, it's just so disappointing to me, Jeffree Star. I had just told my sister yesterday... I shared some of his videos with her. I mean, I shared 
a large amount of his photos with her, but then I went and shared the one video on his pink bolt closet, and I shared that with her, and she doesn't really know about anybody that we know about. She just have no idea. And, and all, none of my clients, none of my clients have, I mean, even some friends that I have that, let's see, Taylor's 24. Um, she said she followed conspiracy theories, but I didn't ask her if she knew Shane Dawson. I should ask her. But no, she doesn't know any of the beauty gurus. So nobody I know is in real life. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. And uh, what happened is I told my sister I was really upset. And she said, why? And I said, oh, just some YouTube drama. She's like, oh, no, what happened, you know? And so I started, tell started telling her about the avocados and Trisha. And, you know, I told her about, you know, James Charles and Tati and a little bit and went into Jeffrey. And uh, she said, oh, I thought it was about you. I thought you were involved in some drama. She says, why are you so involved in all these people's drama? I'm not really involved. Well, I guess I am involved in it. Not really involved, but like invested, you know. Now, Jeffrey Star. Okay, let me talk about Jeffrey Star. I um, told my sister about him, like I said, you know, showed him, pic showed her pictures and showed the video and also showed her the two products that I have, the um, concealer and the banana powder. And, uh, you know, I told her that, you know, if she ever wanted to get me anything that I don't know if Jeffree Star has gift certificates on his website and uh, that, you know, that the Jeffree Star makeup that I have, just, just only those two, they make me feel special. I, it's really weird, you know, but I feel like, like, I feel like, I don't know, it's just a little more, I don't know, a little better in the makeup department. I just feel nicer, you know, like the same thing happened when I had got uh, Jaclyn Hill's palette. The same thing happened. Yeah, I don't feel like that about Too Faced or, you know, um, Naked Palettes. Um, I don't feel like that towards, you know, Too Faced palettes. There's no, like, I have uh, one of them. I like it, but I don't feel like something, you know, like I do with Jeffree Star makeup. And so um, do I think Jeffree Star is capable of, you know, manipulation, um, calculated calculating moves. Yeah. I followed Jeffree Star for a very long time. And uh, I've always liked him. I've always made videos about him. I have a playlist on Jeffree Star's videos. I mean, I like Jeffree Star. And I've talked about, you know, I mean, part of the reason is he's androgynous. And I love androgyny men, androgynous men. Um, but um, so, you know, It'll be really disappointing if um, any of this stuff comes out that Tati and Jeffrey were, you know, in cahoots and caused this to happen, to bring James Charles down for whatever reason. Bunny thing, I don't know, more power. Because they do say, like, when people get power, like, you know, there was a lot of, a lot of buzz around how James Charles, you know, lost so many subscribers, which made Jeffrey Star, like, number one you know, makeup guru with all the subscribers and stuff. So, and uh, so now, you know, Jeffree Star came out and he's like, you know, when someone says half truths and lies and Tati Twitter or something like that, but she's, she tweeted out or she said something, it responded to something somewhere. You know what I'm saying, what I'm saying. But Tati said, you know, when, you know, that uh, James Charles's video was filled with half-truths and lies. And Jeffree Star said kind of the same thing, that he's going to bring his receipts. And someone commented to Jeffree Star and said, you know, why don't you just show us, you know, show us the receipts. And Jeffree Star responded, said something like, I will, you know, like um, I'm going to like tomorrow. And then the person responded and said, well, why not now? Like, you know, why does he need time? And he needs time to get it together. I mean, filming a video with receipts, it's not just something that you can pull. I mean, sometimes when you're like, like really um, high tech savvy and, you know, like you know how to do things really well and you're real intelligent in that sense, 
you know, you might be able to pull it together really quick, kind of like John Cookian does. But Jeffree Star, I mean, he's got people around him that would be able to do that. But still, you've got to find the receipts and you've got to put them in some sort of order to match what you're talking about. It's, it's a lot to edit that, film it, etc. So that he needs time for that. And I just hope and pray that it doesn't get into like him doctoring any, any receipts. You know what I'm saying? Or that he's done that. Everybody's accusing everyone of, you know, playing with the text and changing text and all this stuff. But I do think that James Charles did an excellent job of showing, you know, showing his receipts. I really, really do. So why do I feel like I'm so down here? You know what, you guys? Wouldn't this be cool if it was live? I don't know. I don't, I don't know, but I'm really comfortable. <laughs> I'm really comfortable filming like this, and I didn't know I could film like this until now. <laughs> you know what happened? Also, it's still up. The comment is still up on my last video. And if you want to break it down for me, you can in the comments below. I could just delete the comment. I was thinking about deleting the comment, but I'm so confused about this comment. That's why. So someone comments and says something like this. Trisha and Nina unrated. Okay, someone says Trisha and Nina should matter. I don't know where that's coming from. I never really said, I don't know if I ever, why would I ever say that Trisha Paytas and Nina unrated don't matter. I, I don't get that. But anyways, it said that Trisha and Paytas should matter, ma matter. And that I think she said, she said something like, you think you're Puerto Rican like Nina. She goes, and um, something about like, if I do, I'm lying, something like that. And if I am Puerto Rican, I'm racist against Trisha Paytas. You know, this <laughs> This is like, oh my God, this is how all this stuff starts. This here's a good example of how drama can start. You see what I'm saying? Because, you know, my initial reaction was just to delete that. Like, you know, this is a crazy person who's speaking out of her ears. I mean, you know, she might be eight years old. I have zero idea. Seriously. I seriously have zero idea what this girl's trying to tell me by me thinking that I'm Puerto Rican like Nina Unrated. I might be more Puerto Rican than Nina Unrated. I don't know Nina Unrated's uh, mother and father were born in Puerto Rico. I don't know if her grandparents were born in Puerto Rico. I don't know if her great, 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 great ancestral 1600s, 1500s people were born in Puerto Rico. I don't know this, okay? But I, I know that my ancestors, like from the 1500s, the 1400s, I could not be more Puerto Rican than I am, seriously. So for this girl to say that I think I'm Puerto Rican like Nina Unrated, when I'm probably more Puerto Rican than Nina Unrated, yeah. And then to say that I'm racist against Trisha, wow, what does that mean? Say, I, I don't understand. What does that mean? That I don't like white people? That I'm racist against white people because Trisha's white? I was married to someone who was Caucasian for over 10 years. I like white guys. I don't understand. But I like all kinds of guys. I love men. I love, love, love men. <laughs> Especially if they're androgynous. So, anyways. <sighs> I don't want to get I don't want to get disappointed. I don't want to get sad. I don't want, you know, on Jeffree Star, this video tomorrow. But this is really like the biggest, most huge drama <laughs> ever, ever. You know, for, for reasons that it was historic when James Charles lost so many subscribers in one day, but also because it's got so many twists and turns and we're not done. We are not done. I can't believe we're not done. Jeffree Star is coming out with the video tomorrow. We're not done. That means I have to get this video up tonight. I better cut it close. All right, you guys. I will see you later. Bye.